Psalms chapter 118 verse 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. The God's of people here for a bit. Trust in the Lord, Israel. Nick Rose, Latinos, and Native Americans. Look, the majority of our people are not going to trust in the Lord. These lessons are only for the elect of the nation of Israel. You're starting to realize, you're starting to really get it now. You know, you're starting to really get why Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah only cares for the elect of the nation of Israel. Two thirds don't trust in the Lord. They're putting their confidence in man. Every time man say something, look, you see Jake, you know, jumping off a cliff for man, laying it down for man, taking all kind of punches, read between the line, taking all kind of punches, not giving a damn, ain't praying no more, Jake ain't praying no more, they have been taught not to pray no more, ain't got no hope in the Lord, the scriptures tell us the hope in the Lord. That's why you read. Blesses he that readeth. Our people don't read. They're too busy caught up in the world, man. They'll do anything for a vacation. They'll do anything, you know what I'm saying, to get back to normalcy. And you're starting to see that, man. So, so what, what's really going to happen when it really go down? What are they going to, what are they willing to really sacrifice for freedom? AKA so-called freedom. Psalms 118 and 8. It is better to trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who they're going to call God and Jesus Christ, than to put confidence in man. Man will let you down every time. You know, you, you, I mean, what, what, what's up What's up there? You know what I'm saying? What, what, what's up there? You know what I'm saying? Right above your neck. Nothing, right? You, you forgot man made mistakes. Man will let you down. <laughs> what, what, what happened, man? Psalm 71, just a quick lesson through the Spirit on who you should be trusting in, man. You Israelites, Psalm 71. One, look, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh ain't never let us down. Psalm 71 and one, in thee, O Lord. Do I put my trust in thee, O Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? And this is something you got to wake up thinking. This is something you got to go throughout the day thinking. This is something that you got to go to sleep thinking. Trusting in the Lord, man. You, you, you really, you trusting in man? I'd rather put my trust in, uh, in the creator of the heavens and the earth. I'm trusting my creator. You know, my creator knows what's best for me. In thee, O oh Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh, Shai family members getting punched to death. Read between the lines. What is, what is he talking about? About getting punched to death. What, what, where have you been? Have you been up on a rock? For the last past couple of months, you should know what the hell I'm talking about. In thee, O oh Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to shame. And I want, I want to get a quick precept. I want to get a quick precept. Let's go to the book of Sirach, the second chapter. Let me never be put to shame, meaning confusion. For trusting in you, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, and he's not. He's not. Just want to hit this quick point right quick. Look at the generations of old. Bear with me. Look at the generations of old and see. Did ever our forefathers read? Did ever any trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, and was confounded? Was put to shame. It was written for our learning. Romans 15 and 4. The things that are written the fourth time were written for our learning that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Look at the generations of old Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Noah, Lot. You know, all the prophets, all, look, all the true believers, and see. Meshach, Abednego, Shamrach, and the fiery furnace, Daniel, and the lion's den. Sh shall I go on? 
Shall I go on? Moses, did ever any trust in the Lord, Yahweh by Shimyao Shah was confounded? Or who, or did he ever, or look, or any abide in his fear? Or was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For the Lord is, the Lord is full of compassion and mercy. The Lord. No, look, no, no man on earth is like our power. Remember, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering, and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins, and saveth in the time of affliction. Who, look, man. Our people stopped trusting in the Lord a long time ago, and now you're seeing the results of it, man. And our, and our people in for a rude awakening. You put your trust in man, and you stop putting your trust in the Lord, then, then you're getting ready to see that lying-ass pastors ain't teaching our people nothing. You know. You know. These lying-ass pastors telling our people to, to go with the flow. Go, look, look go, go with the flow. Isaiah 26.4. Trust ye in the Lord forever, forever, no matter what goes down, no matter what comes your way. And that comes through prayer. I pray that each and every day. I pray to you how about Shem Shai, that whatever comes my way, keep his spirit on me to be able to endure it, man. And look, look, constantly trust, have faith. Trust goes back to faith. Have faith in the Lord. Ye that trust in the Lord, trust ye in the Lord forever. For in the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh is everlasting strength. Let's get this. 2 Samuel 22, 31. As for Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh his way is perfect. Not man. Not man. Man mess up each and every day. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all of them that trust in him, man. You know? Psalms 20, I'm just, I'm just rolled through some of them, man. On who to trust in, all right? Who are you going to trust in, Israel? Psalms 20 and 7, some trust in chariots and some in the horses. But we, the whole elect, will remember the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, our power, man. We trusted in our power. And the Lord got us reading scriptures like this pretty much every day. So for the Israelites that aren't reading, you know what I'm saying? You look, you should at least be listening. But the scriptures say what? Don't just be a hearer of the word, be a doer also. Look, it's getting ready to go down. Okay? It's getting ready to go down. You should have been building up your faith and your how about Shem Shah, your trust in the Lord. Don't wait till all hell break loose. What? Psalms 34, 22. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, redeemeth the soul of his servants. Are you serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? And none of them, that, and look, look, and none, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate, man. All right? And none of them that trust in him. Our people don't even trust. Look, shit. None of my family members, I don't see none of my family members putting their trust in the Lord. I mean, I, I could be wrong. I'm just speaking as a man. But from what I'm seeing right about now, I don't see nothing going down. I don't see nothing going down. I see them trusting in the government. I see them trusting in man. I see them getting punched to death. But none, none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Psalm 73, 28. But it is good for me to draw near to my power, draw near and closer and closer to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. How, how do you do that? Through these words. Jake, Jake, you better start reading. Look, look, remember, reading is fundamental. It's fun to the mental. These videos ain't gonna always be around these encouraging videos, these exhortations, these warnings. You know. They ain't gonna always be um, accessible, man. They ain't gonna always be at your fingertip. I have put my trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that I may declare all thy words. And that's what we do. That's what we do. Psalms 115 and 11. Ye that fear the Lord, because it starts off with fear. 
Trust in the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai. He is their help and their shield. Just some confident words, man. You know, Psalm 64, 10, the righteous shall be glad in the Lord. You ain't the all hell break loose. You're you going to truly realize how much of a blessing it was to put your trust in the Lord and not to put trust in man. Can't you, you can't see what man is trying to do to you. You still don't see what man is trying to do to you, right? You, you're still trusting in man, right? The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and shall trust in him, have faith, have confidence in him. And all the upright in the heart, meaning in your mind, shall glory. You know, Nahum 1 and 7, the Lord is good. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is good. A stronghold in the day of trouble. That's what we're in the midst of, trouble. Trouble now. And he know of them that trust in him. So ain't no faking. Ain't no faking, man. All right? Psalms 40 and 4. Blessed is the man that maketh the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, his trust, and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies, man. Remember, man a lie to you now. We, tr we trusting in the Lord, and Lord willing, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, will keep his spirit on us, man. You know? Don't fear, man. Fear the Lord, Israel. And Lord willing, the elect is edified, man. Hey, hey, just a quick little um reminder on who to trust. Trust the Lord, not man. Shalom.